tears streaming down my face as I come to the realization that my life was nothing but a complete waste. Now let me take you back a few years so you can fully understand the reason for my tears. I was raised in church and I can quote verse after verse after verse, but I viewed the way I was brought up as if it was a curse. You see, I wanted to be free, free to be me. But I didn't realize that if I had just applied the scripture, I could have saved myself of eternal tears and regret being my future. But enough about the now because we're talking about the then. Let me take you back to when all the troubles that I caused started piling in. You see, come every Sunday, I had a front row seat. But that was back when I thought I had an eternal heartbeat. Some might even say I was a Christian because I sure did look the part. But that wasn't what was truly in my heart. Every now and then, the preacher's words would catch my attention, and I'd let a little tear slip down my face. But oh God, I know I wasn't crying out in the right place. I know now, I even knew then, that we have to open up our heart. But you see, I was too young to do my part. Yes, you heard me right. I was in church, but my mind was preoccupied with the things I would do when the preacher said, service is over. But I don't think you quite understand. I didn't think my life would be over. I wasn't a terrible person. I did do good deeds. But what was in my heart is what brought me to this eternal heat. It wasn't in my heart, so I played around with sin. Nothing too bad, you know, but I thought I was the only one who knew. But apparently God did too. The worst part of all this is when I heard God say, Child, you were born for so much more. Oh God, that's when my heart tore. But I had all the time in the world to give my life to Christ until I didn't and my life was taken out of sight. You see, I'm young, I'm only 20, and when it came to time, I thought I had plenty, but just one sin turned into another, and it took all I had to keep it hidden under. When I say under, I mean under that fake Christian role that I played, and believe me, for that I have paid. You know that saying, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Well, I saw every part of it when I died, and the first thing that came to my mind was the preacher's words, we need to step out because it's our time to shine. For months I have put that thought aside, but I wish I had at least tried. Tried to live my life for the king, but I thought I had my whole life to think. As I said, I was a good person. I did do good deeds. But my mind was completely stuck in the mud, and I realize now that my life wasn't even worth one drop of his blood. This takes us back to where we are now with my tear-stained brow. God's words echo over and over. And I know as far as his blood goes, I wasn't covered. These words are going to haunt me. They will last with me throughout all eternity. Jesus looked at me and said, Who are you? Who am I? God, I was created by you. And he answers, Yes, but after me, you never did pursue. I knew right then and there that there was nothing I could do. My emotions ran wild and my thoughts all in a blur. And I could have avoided all of this if my heart I had just poured what was coming next I knew, but I wasn't prepared for what that flame could do. No, God, I won't accept it. This can't become my reality. Take another look. There's got to be some good that you can find in me. And then I hear the preacher's words again. Good deeds are not all that matter to him. You know what you know, and you can't play dumb when God looks at your life and says no. I never viewed myself as a sinner because as far as church goes, I was a regular Though I paid little attention to his sermon, somehow his words had come back with a strong torment. Those preacher's words were the last thing I wanted on my mind because they had the power to reveal what I didn't want to find. And it turns out they were the last thing that came to my mind before I entered this eternal flame. Oh, it hurts. It hurts, but I know I'm to blame. And the worst part of this is this didn't have to be my reality if I had just opened up my heart and said, God, I am sorry. It's too late for me now, and believe me, you can't escape the flames, so take my advice when I say that life isn't worth this pain. Go to the altar, lay down your pride, and give him the praise that he's due. It's too late for me, but if your heart's beating, it's not for you. It's too late for me now, I'm not coming back. Believe me, I've tried, and I can't make the time roll back. These chains are unbreakable, but I live like my heart was unstoppable. Life is short, and I'm a good example. Do you have a heartbeat? Yes? Then why haven't you applied the Bible? My life was short, but it's still my fault that I put off redemption. Let me just ask you, because it did cross my mind. What's your excuse? Because there isn't any exceptions.